Who do you think's better, Beyonce or Taylor Swift? Beyonce. Why do you say that? She's a goat. But Taylor Swift is actually white and Beyonce wants to be white. Beyonce is black, it's okay. But she wants to be white. Who said? Can't you see, like, in every photo she's ever been in, she's always had a blonde wig on. Maybe Sasha Fierce wants to be white. Beyonce wants to be black. Oh, so that's like her alter, alter ego. ego. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, but that means... But even if you go with that, if you look at all of the new stuff that she's come out, it's really Afro-centric. After, yes. Mm. So a lot of future Afronism in it mm -hmm. that you're just not going to see out of a lot of the big names that are out right now. A few... Don't the camera on me, I got warrants. <laughs> Oh shit! Toby Lou's really good. Uh, Kyle, mm -hmm. people like that. They so just they kind of hit different. Not yeah, in the same way that Beyonce's gonna hit, but you yeah, feel that they're not trying to be anything but exactly who they are, Thank and you me. can tell from their music. Yeah. So you said she has like a lot of Afrocentric music, right? Is yeah. that now. what you said? She's coming out now. With it now. So yeah. so if she has Afrocentric music, why don't she just wear her natural Afro? You see this? See, see, yeah, you're natural. I know okay, you're... so I had locks for two years. Oh, yeah. This is a lot of work. I had locks for seven years. Even if you have someone always in your head, whether you pay for someone to do it or you famous like her, it's a lot to have someone in your head often because I got to wash this once a week. But just because you don't see her wearing it out does not mean she does not support the, the Negro, okay? Are you sure about that? Though? Oh, I'm positive about that one. But I mean, like, ever since, like, even since Destiny Child, she always had a wig on. Like, why can't you just wear it natural? Um, well, go, you go have ahead. to also put in the fact that is her wearing a wig less black? Because how many black women do you know? Wearing bonnets, wigs, and... Um, and sew-ins. Thank you. That's and all, and, and that's all actually a part so, of so our culture. It, that's it, our culture. Thank you. You think so? No, 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 no. no, no. It's not a thing. It, it goes is. all the way back to Africa. White people started to do our hairstyles because they wanted to be like us. So I wigs agree. that came from us. Granted, we didn't use the same materials. We started that. Right, so I, I think it's totally fine if black people wear wigs that look like their natural hair. Because there's there's wigs that look like curly black people's hair. But you don't have to go put on a, a I think it's called a 614 or something like that, or 613 wig, to where it's like just fully blonde. Because females getting their hair done, it's just like uh, the men going to the barbershop getting their hair cut. And then on top you of feel it, what I'm saying? That's it's, it's a little bit different. It, 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 if it, we're going to go just how? based off of the color then, there are black people who are naturally born, born blondes. Yeah, but that's like the... I, one percent that's like malaysian people like it's not you, even we malaysian. gotta stop putting no we but gotta stop categorizing things okay we really gotta stop categorizing things because that's where things get a little uh what's the word i'm looking for off topic <laughs> because everybody wears sew ins weaves and white people do too it's bare it's rare it's true it's, it's true. rare but, but I, they but, do but i never personally see i've never ever seen a white person with no fake afro on their head have you ever seen that yes where <laughs> plenty of times when I was in school I would see that and it's not like what? it's not like fluffy wave like 80s but yeah. they definitely they put tracks in their head they do all the same stuff that we do it's just that we don't get demonized or looked down on for it you have anything else to no, say I'm before good. you go back I'm good I appreciate you hey <laughs> follow me ace wow underscores all right thank y'all all right you have a good one I just never seen no black person you know I mean no white person with like tracks of a black person's type of hair in their head it's always their own type of straight hair it's never curly never afro nothing, nothing like that so then that's where you start to have to look into the diversity of black hair because my hair right now I have three different textures in my hair so I have to treat, treat each section differently there are there's a point in time because you know the stuff that I was putting in my hair that when I washed it it was bone straight mm -hmm. so it's more of a you gotta kind of sample a little bit more to see that yes a lot of the things that white people do black people do as well mm -hmm. but you gotta see okay we don't just do that we do Mm -hmm. braids we do locks we do all different types of things from our with our hair and it comes from what we were doing in africa like have but, you ever heard how mm -hmm. cornrows got started it got mm -hmm. started in africa because they were putting seeds and food in our hair i've heard a lot of controversy with that as well like some people say like um the vikings and stuff started that so i i don't know but you said earlier that you have a lot of different hair textures in your head mm -hmm. can you show me the the place in your head where there's straight blonde hair coming up <laughs> I can't show you straight blonde hair. Nah. But I will say I do have blonde highlights. That is naturally oh, in my hair. Real? Yep. I've had it since I was a kid. The only color I've ever put in my hair is black. And that's also where you, it kind of, you got to get into color theory too. 
I mean, the whole thing with the wigs and everything, I just wish more black women would wear their hair naturally um, because it just signifies that you, you're comfortable with being yourself. Like, you don't have to put something on before you go outside, you know. Like, a lot of black women, they don't even go to the store without just putting on a, a wig real quick or something like that. When just like, wear your natural hair. It's not, it's not ugly. It's not about it being ugly. It's about being presentable. As you know, as being a black man, you, we have to be the best of the best of the best. When we go out into the world, mm -hmm especially in today's age, we got to look a certain type of way. We can't look like we might be a crackhead. Mm -hmm. We can't look like someone may try to go and take our kids away because right. of the way how we look, because of other people's assumptions. So mm -hmm. it gets into that as well. Because there have been plenty of days where I love my hair, mm -hmm. but I'm fucking sick and tired of it. So I'm put a wrap on it. In certain ways, by covering your hair, it gives you that safeness of my hair is still beautiful i just don't like it right now i want something different i want to explore a new version of myself so you got to kind of think of it more of a broadening your horizons rather than it closing yourself off to your culture mm. bring a wrap or something like that is totally fine but i mean like putting on a wig that's totally straight and blonde like i feel like you should never do that like i just i just feel like there's so many other wigs and other choices that are a lot better than a, a white woman's wig, you feel me? So, I can understand that, but how mm -hmm. many white women do you see have natural blonde hair? A, a lot of them do, a lot of them do, but I know a lot of them spray it in or have like extensions like fake hair and stuff too. So, but I mean, like it looks, it looks right on them because that's how a lot of their hair naturally grows out of their hair. So then is it more of the question of how you as a person are perceiving their hair? I don't I don't think so because if they were wearing like hair just like yours, if a if a white woman had hair just like yours, I'd be like, nah, that looks off. Because just just because she's white. And I, I know any other black person would say the same thing and then that girl would also probably get bullied for it if she was in high school or something like that. You, you're right, especially with a lot of the black fishing that's happening nowadays. Yeah. Would you feel different if it was, like, let's say, for example, I straightened my hair and I colored it. Right. Would it look any less natural than if I put on a wig? I think it would, depending on what the color is as like, well. Like, uh, let's say blonde. If you dyed it blonde mm -hmm. and straightened it, it would probably look unnatural. But when you straighten your hair and wear a wig, there's it's two different textures, so you can kind of tell. Then yeah. that gets into the quality of someone's wig because you have the good shit that has the real hair, and then you got that plastic shit. I have had plenty of plastic wigs. I love wigs, mm -hmm. and the plastic you can tell. But if it's a nice, good quality wig. Mm -hmm. You can't tell it from someone else's hair. That's why there's uh, people do like leave outs in their wigs because the blend is just, it matches. Mm -hmm. I mean, but most times I think, I don't know if it's just me, but I can mainly always tell just because of the front lining, like they put on like the little glue and everything. And it's kind of very clear that it's a, it's a wig, but you know, nobody just says anything. But I mean, like the hair itself, of course it looks like hair, but like how the wig is put on, put on as well, you can tell that it's a wig as well. So, I mean, I guess this topic is just like, uh, one of those topics where you can't really agree on anything. Am I right about that? I wouldn't say that necessarily you couldn't agree. I think there's always a, more to understand. Right. Cause there's so many facets in regards to our hair of why we do our hair the way we do it and for what reason. Some people do it in order to protect their hair. Some people do it because they like the look. Mm -hmm. And some people do it for cultural reasons. It all depends on that specific person's reasoning behind why their hair looked like that. Because mm. like for me, I had locks for two years. Yeah. And the reason why I decided to comb them out was because I was depressed. I was sad. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? As soon as I comb out all of these locks, mm -hmm. I will no longer be sad. Mm -hmm. I did it, and now I'm no longer sad. Is it really that easy? Well, hair holds, and this is like if you're spiritual and stuff like that, I'm a little bit. But hair holds memory. Mm. Hair holds emotion. So does water. Right. So if you feel as though you're going through a lot, you're going to hold on to that negativity somewhere mm -hmm. and i felt that at that point in time a lot of the negativity and the stuff that i've been through especially with 2020 happening yeah. was in my hair so mm. i felt like that was something that you know i need to let go of mm. okay i never I, I think i've heard of that like i never heard it in that perspective but i did hear 
um, how women were just cut their hair all of a sudden when they're like stressed out or they reach like a certain age, like 26, 27, and they just like cut their hair short when it used to be like way down here. So maybe that's due to that as well, but I'm not sure what that is. It could be. I know like my hair, I know it looks short, but my hair goes all the way down here. Yeah, yeah shrinkage. Yeah. And I, I want to cut my hair and I just took it out of locks earlier this year. You want to cut your hair? Yes, because it is Why? long. It is long and it is a lot to do. That's a good thing though. Like the longer, the better. Sure, if someone's gonna go and pay for it to go and get it done. Wait, so you don't you don't do it yourself? Oh, I do do it myself. Right. And how long does it take you? Well, I've been natural since 2014. Oh wow, that's that's nice. And now that I have a routine of how I know how to work with my hair, it only takes me about maybe half the day. But oh, that's wow. still half the day. That's true. And that's, that's true. just washing it detangling it making sure that it's conditioned that's not even putting it in a style because this mm -hmm. this is a wash and go I, I do understand that i mean so like i just recently became black i used to be a white kid mm -hmm. so now i have to do my own hair and it does take um pretty long to do so you know this revit aligo thing I'm, I'm really actually white i didn't tell you that before but i was born white oh really yeah yeah i was born white so um my skin just started changing mm -hmm. and now my hair i have nigga hair now you know it's, it's not really hey, hey just because you're black now don't mean you can say it now but I, I got the pass. Um, some some dude over there gave me the pass. Actually, you know your coworker when you were um, looking that way. I asked him, "Can I get, ask her? Can I get the pass?" Nah, nah. You you got to get it from each and every person. I have to. So I have to get it from you. Yes. Can That's, I get the Can I get the pass? I'm sorry, but we don't know each other like that. That's crazy. What's What's your name? My name's Hime. Hime? Yeah, like Hime or Hime not. Oh, Hime, Hime. Not. Okay, okay. So my name is Trayvon. Now, can I get the pass? Now we know each other. Still can't get that pass, <laughs> That's <though>. crazy. <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, so I, I do appreciate your answers. Oh, We're no going to go ahead and get some um, other answers as well. You have a great rest of your day. You too.